and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber Westbrook and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect set of fake acrylic nails right at home. But shh, there's no acrylics involved. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to do it with gel. I bought all the stuff used in this tutorial for less than the cost of one full set of acrylics. Don't you guys think it's a little bit ridiculous to go to the nail salon when you could do it for a fraction of the price at home? And guess what? It only takes about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you how, starting with some bare fingers. Please don't judge. Are you ready? Let's get started. First things first, make sure those fingernails are clean. Start out by pressing those cuticles down, then buff with a fine nail file so your glue will stay stuck like that time in middle school when you accidentally glued your fingers together. Next up, I'm going to use some Nailene Ultra Quick Dry Glue, which is the best glue in the whole entire world, to glue these tips on. I got these tips on Amazon, and they're linked in the description below, just so you know. They're pretty amazing. This glue dries super fast, so just hold it down for about 10 seconds. Next, you're going to want to shape your nails the way you want. I wanted mine to be a little bit shorter because I do a lot of crafts, so it's kind of hard to have super long nails. Then all you got to do is file them down. Now if you can guess, you're going to do the same exact thing to all the other nails. Also just in case you were wondering, it's much better to put the glue on the plastic part of the nail rather than your nail bed, it just tends to stay better. It's also a good tip to compare your fingers so that one hand doesn't have longer nails than the other hand. I'm making these into shortish coffin nails just because, you know, I like coffins. I go back and forth all the time though. You can make them whatever shape you want. Now it is time for the base coat. Remember this is gel, so it needs the UV lamp. I'm just gonna plop it all over my nail. Don't forget to get around the edges because this makes your gel polish stay on twice as long. And now, surprise, surprise, do the same for all of the nails on the left hand. The next step is you're going to cure the base coat for 30 seconds in your UV lamp. Then repeat on the right hand. Now this next part is basically the same exact step but you're going to do it with your polish color instead of the base coat and you're going to cure it for 60 seconds instead of 30 seconds. Try to keep your layers thin and do multiple layers to get the color that you want instead of doing thick layers because thick layers just don't turn out. Don't forget that even with the color, you need to get the edges and the sides and the tips so that you don't have any flaking or chipping and your polish stays on for twice as long. Once you've cured your color, I like to do on my ring finger a little bit of sparkly top coat. Just makes it feel super special and gives it a little something extra. The last step is to add my top coat. I like to get a no wipe top coat so that I can cure it and just have it be done instantly. I make sure to get all those edges, all the corners. But before I cure it, I'm going to use the wetness of the top coat to stick my rhinestones on. Aren't they so cute? They're so little. I use this little wax pencil that came with the rhinestones to stick them on. It's so sparkly. Then I'm going to put a little bit more top coat on just to secure them in and I'm going to cure it for another 60 seconds. Do the same thing to the other hand and make sure that you get all the edges. Don't worry about using your opposite hand to put the rhinestones on because even if you're right handed and you're doing it with your left hand, it's really not that hard. Just be patient with yourself. One last little bit of top coat before you cure it, and that is literally it, you guys! Are you guys ready to see the finished look? Here we go! Just to remind you, here's the before. And dun dun dun! -da! Here's the after! Don't they look so good? I just love them. And now it's your turn! If you do decide to try it out, feel free to send me a Snapchat or an Instagram showing me your beautiful nails because I'm always up for more inspo. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. And until next time, I love you, my fabulous fashionistas. Please never change and never stop DIYing.